Dear viewers, welcome to Nursat Satellite Station in Tel Elimir TV. Nursat office in Jordan, represented by its regional director, Dr. Basim Samaan, and the team, is pleased to extend to all Christians and church families and their parishes in the Hashemite Kingdom of Jordan and the world their sincere congratulations and love on the occasion of the advent of Easter, hoping that good and blessing will be returned to all and that security and peace will prevail in the Holy Land and the whole world. Now let's start with the headlines. Pope Francis sends a message to the world on the occasion of Easter. Patriarch Theophilus III calls on Israeli authorities to facilitate access to the Church of the Holy Sepulchre. The Greek Orthodox Patriarchate of the Holy Land celebrated the Palm Sunday. We also have Patriarch Sacco presided over Easter night Mass. Welcome back. On the occasion of Easter, His Holiness Pope Francis addressed a message to the world in which he said, Easter means passage because in Jesus there was the decisive passage of humanity from death to life, from sin to grace, from fear to trust, from despair to communion. A glorious Easter I want to wish you from the heart. His Holiness continued, May everyone have a passage from tribulation to consolation and the living Jesus is with us forever. May the church and the world rejoice because our hope today are no longer shattered on the wall of death, but the Lord opened a bridge to life for us, and at Easter the fate of the world was changed. Now we can rejoice in the pure grace of celebrating the most important beautiful day in history. Let us hasten to overcome conflicts and divisions and open our hearts to those most in need. Let us hasten to walk the path of peace and fraternity and rejoice at the tangible signs of hope that come to us from many countries. Pope Francis concluded by saying that we believe in you, Lord Jesus, and we believe that with you, hope is born again, and the journey continues. Lord of life, encourage our paths and repeat to us what you said to the disciples on Easter evening. Peace be upon you. In the season of preparation for the celebration of Easter, the Greek Orthodox Patriarchate called on the Israeli authorities to allow all believers access to the Church of the Holy Sepulchre in order to celebrate this blessed occasion. His Beatitude Patriarch Theophilus III, Patriarch of Jerusalem and all the works of Jordan and Palestine, expressed his wishes that all believers can exercise their natural right to access the Church of the Holy Sepulchre and worship freely and safely without restriction. His Beatitude pointed out that the worship and access to the holy place is a right guaranteed by religious and worldly laws. He called on the authorities to respect the sanctity of this holy week, especially on Holy Saturday, where believers come from all parts of the world to receive the blessing of light in the Church of the Holy Sepulchre. Stressing the importance of establishing the values of love, tolerance and cooperation between human beings, he urged everyone to work in a spirit of unity and cooperation to build more prosperous and advanced societies, so that the Holy Land may enjoy justice, love and security, and the world may enjoy peace, security and stability. On the other hand, the Greek Orthodox Patriarchate of the Holy Land celebrated Palm Sunday, the day on which we remember the entry of Christ into Jerusalem as King and his reception from the crowds with palm fronds and olives, shouting, Hosanna, blessed is the one who comes in the name of the Lord. On this occasion, his Beatitude Patriarch Kyrios Theophilus III presided over Vespers service in the Church of the Holy Sepulchre. After the service, the traditional procession was held with the holy icon from the monastery of Beit, Fari to the monastery of St. Joachim and Hanne in the Old City. On the morning of Palm Sunday, his Beatitude presided over the service of the Holy Liturgy in the same church with the participation of a number of archbishops, fathers, and deacons of the Brotherhood of the Holy Sepulchre and a large crowd of worshippers from the Holy Land and pilgrims coming from abroad and diplomatics and official figures. After the Mass, the traditional procession was held around the Holy Sepulchre with palm fronds after which the Patriarchal Procession headed to the Patriarchal House to exchange congratulations. The choir of the Greek Orthodox Patriarchate schools in the Church of the Divine Ascension in Khalda organized an evening under the title Towards Calvary, the evening, which was patronized by Beatitude Archbishop Christophorus Hatalla, Metropolitan of Jordan for the Greek Orthodox, was attended by a number of priests and deacons and Dr. Rima Zrekat, Director of the Department of Private Education at the Ministry of Education, Mrs. Linim Danat, Director General of the Patriarchate Schools, Principal of Schools Educational and Administrative Staff, and a crowd of guests, parents, and parishioners. On this occasion, His Excellency expressed his thanks to the students and those in charge of this work, which contributes to spreading love and peace. 
For her part, Mrs. Mdanat spoke about the journey of establishing the hymn choir, the school choir, and the musical band. She also praised the good relationship between the church and the school and thanked the students and everyone who contributed to the success of this evening. On the occasion of the time of fasting and repentance, the chanter Dr. Heba Abbasi revived an evening of spiritual hymns with the participation of the musician Rabia Haddad in the shrine of Our Lady of the Mountain in Anjara. The evening that was organized by the parish of Our Lady of the Mountain was sponsored by Dr. Basim al Samran, the regional director of Nur Sat TV in the Holy Land, Jordan and Palestine, in the presence of the pastor of the church, Father Yusuf Francis, and the secretary general of the Ministry of Tourism and Antiquities, Dr. Imad Hjazin, and a number of priests, nuns, and parishioners. During the evening, the chanter Hiba Abbasi presented a bouquet of hymns of reverence. The Latin parish of Jabeha held a perpetuary march towards the celebration of Easter and the resurrection of Christ. The celebration included a spiritual exercise for the parish in preparation for entering the week of the Passion of Christ. The spiritual exercise included approaching the sacrament of repentance and spiritual guidance. In the morning meditation during the Divine Liturgy presided over by the parish priest Father Samir Mdanat, he focused in his homily on the book of Jeremiah, the prophet, and in the same day participation took place in the practicing of the Way of the Cross, which was headed by Father Samir Mdanat, in the presence of the assistant priests and nuns of the Rosary Sister Parish. In conclusion, the parish priest Father Samir Mdanat thanked the Marian Sisterhood, the youth in all its branches, members of the scouts and removing troops. The school administration and the nuns are assistant priests for the participation in the celebration. On the occasion of the Holy Week, the Philadelphia Voice Choir, led by Maestro Kako Haddad and pianist Zaina Miyang, also performed an evening of spiritual hymns at the Arab Evangelical Episcopal Church of the Redeemer in Jabal Amman, in the presence of the church's pastor, Reverend Faik Haddad, and a number of parishioners. His Beatitude Patriarch Raphael Sacco presided over a festive mass of Easter at St. Joseph Cathedral in Karada in Baghdad, with the help of a number of bishops and priests in the presence of believers. His Beatitude said in his homily, the machine of the wicked thought that it had eliminated Jesus once and for all, but the machine of goodness, which is the machine of God, surprised them and raised him alive and victorious. The resurrection of Christ continues in the hearts of millions of people after 2,000 years. Patriarch Sacco called on the faithful to go deep, away from the eyes of the body, that are unable to see him from superficial concepts and misinterpretation. Let us read, meditate, and live the signs of his presence through prayer, silence, and the light of grace. His beatitude concluded his sermon by saying, We are required to open our horizons and brush with admiration and enthusiasm to the message and witness to Jesus with joy and amazement. We ask the Lord to live in peace, stability, freedom and dignity. In recognition of the symbolism of the flag with its moral and historical dimension, the Rosary Sister School's Marj Hamam celebrated the Flag Day, where the school formed the flag with its students with the participation of many activities, which presented during the celebration, singing paragraphs and speeches that emphasized the sincerity of belonging to the homeland and the leader of the homeland, His Majesty King Abdullah II. The school administration all considered that this activity is an essential part of the educational mission that the school is following. Here, dear viewers, we have come to the end of our news, and those were the headlines. Pope Francis sends a message to the world on the occasion of Easter. Patriarch Theophilus III calls on Israeli authorities to facilitate access to the Church of the Holy Sepulchre. The Greek Orthodox Patriarchate of the Holy Land celebrated Palm Sunday. Patriarch Sacco presided over Easter night Mass. For more information, please visit our website, nursajo.org. Thank you for watching. Until we meet again, have a good day.